Hey friends, what's going on? So a lot of you have written in through comments on Patreon, through email, asking what type of pick I use when I play guitar. So I'm going to answer it in this video here, and I'll do a bit of explaining about why I use this pick, what pick I used to use, and some of the things that I keep in mind based on what you want to play. So with that said, let's get on to this video here. So getting right to the point, I use this Dunlop. It's a 0.46 millimeter uh, pick, and what I love about this pick in particular is it has the perfect balance of being flexible, right? It bends, but it's also firm. And you compare that to something like this, which is a, I believe this is a Dunlop nylon pick, right? This is 0.38 millimeters. This one is just super, super, super floppy, right? Which has some advantages I'll get to. And on the other end of the thing of the spectrum, you have this Dunlop as well. This is point. 60 millimeters. This one is a lot more rigid and firm. So to me, uh, this pink one has the perfect flexibility. You know, it, it's it's just flexible enough without being too flexible, and it's just firm enough without being too rigid, right? The other thing I love about this pick is the material. It's made out of a plastic. I don't know what the exact name is, but it has a bit of grip to it. So even though there's no texture on this pick, when I uh, rub my, you know, my, my forefinger and my thumb on it, it basically, it, it sticks and sort of pulls on my skin just a little bit. And I find that very, very helpful when you're playing guitar because I'm sure, as all of you know, dropping your pick can be an issue sometimes. And just recently, I was recording a lesson with this pick right here. It's a gray Dunlop at 0.60 millimeters as well. Interestingly, the flexibility of this one matches what you have in this pink one, right? I think they're made of different materials. This gray one does have some texture on it, some little dots and everything. That does help you with the grip, but I find that this material doesn't sort of grip on your skin as well. So when I was playing, I would just notice that it would sort of become looser in my fingers, right? And I would have to do micro adjustments with my fingers while I'm playing just to make sure I had a good grip on things. So I don't care for this one as much. Again, it's this pink one I really, really am a fan of. And um, I recommend trying it out. Now, for context, what I used to use for the first five or ten years I played guitar was this Dunlop. It was a red one, and it's um, 0.50 millimeters, right? Now, this one is super similar to the pink one. The material feels similar. I think it's a little less grippy. Um, it, it feels more, like, dry to the, to the touch. Um, it doesn't really grab your skin as much. It does have some nice flexibility, but it's a bit too rigid. And I think in the past 10 years or so, I have switched to this pink one, which again has a little bit more give with the flexibility and a lot more grip on your skin. And if you kind of see here as I sort of move my fingers back and forth, it's almost like the pick is sort of, um, I can just feel that grip on it, right? Another little weird trick I use is the same idea of a teacher or a librarian sort of licking your fingers before you turn a page in a book. You know that feeling where a, a page is too, uh, there's not enough friction to let your finger grab the paper? I find that with sometimes when I have dry hands and I'm playing, even with this pick, it's n there's not enough sort of grip on my finger. So what I'll do is just lick my finger a little bit. A little bit of moisture goes a long way to sort of um, making sure the pick has that ad additional amount of grip. Now, as far as when you're playing, here's some things to keep in mind. If you have a really, really loose pick that's really flexible, I find that can create a nice sound on the, of the pick on the strings, right? But the downside of this is if you want to sort of um, play any kind of lead, if you want to do any sort of playing where you need to get volume with the notes you're playing, these thinner picks are not that great because basically they don't they don't capture the string as well. You can't, you know, the loudest I could possibly play, if I sort of choke up with my thumb and put my thumb really close to the tip, even then, it's hard to get real volume, as opposed to something like this, this yellow one. This is a Dunlop 0.75. Right? That's a lot more sort of volume I can get because this one doesn't really bend at all, right? So it's super good at projecting individual notes, I find, right? But if you're trying to do some sort of light strumming that sort of um, is a nice like background rhythm guitar, it's harder with the thicker or the, the more rigid pick because um, I just find that it's more of a harsh sound on all the strings. But hey, sometimes that can be with what you want. I was playing at a, a party with some friends one time, and I noticed that I needed to play loud. I needed to project, especially some of the little riffs like that. If you're playing with a really thin pick, it can be super hard to make volume, right? So it's all about 
where you're playing, what your goals are. Are you trying to stand out in a crowded room? Are you just playing by yourself in an office or a library or something, right? Are you playing electric? Are you playing acoustic? Do you have nylon strings? Uh, do you not? What's making you drop your pick? Is it, you know, are there firmer picks harder to hold on to? Or do you like something uh, a bit more, more thin and flexible? Likewise, how does the material work for you? So final advice I would have is when you go to the guitar store, buy a lot more picks than you need and buy a few more that are outside your wheelhouse. Try them out, right? Have a place where you can put them, and then just as you play different things, try out different picks and see what works for you. But again, uh, this is what I got, this Dunlop uh, 0.46 millimeter. I'm super happy with it, and I recommend it. Look for the link in this uh, description of the video if you want to get it off Amazon, uh, or obviously supporting your local guitar store is probably a better bet there. But hey, wanted to answer this question. I hope this was helpful for you all, and uh, hit me up with any questions you have or any suggestions as well. And until next time, uh, see you all around. Check out my website, playsongnotes.com, if you want to find more video lessons, uh, particularly for songs, and I have my PDF chord sheet library, which I've been working on as well. It's a great thing to take with you outside of my videos, right? To learn the lyrics, learn the strumming pattern out away from a screen, right? Print out these things, put them in your bag of tricks and uh, your book of songs and go with, go with them and have fun. But hey, with that said, I'm going to take off. Take care of y'all. I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.